high school i wasn't really good at my sciences math and all that stuff and i always used to be told for you to be a doctor you need to like ace in those in those subjects so i was applying to places like europe hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl precious and i'm back again with another video and today <laughs> i'm doing a video which someone requested months ago but i was not able to do it it's long overdue so i have come to do it so if it's your first time here please guys subscribe to my youtube channel my name is precious and i talk about i'm a medical student in my fifth year and i talk about my medical school journey and I also talk about faith and lifestyle, so I do vlog sometimes. And then if you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Welcome back. And today, I hope you're going to enjoy this video. Let's get right into it. I will be talking about my journey, like how I got into medical school. So for those of you who do not know, I am in a medical school in China and currently doing online classes back home due to COVID. Um, when the COVID hit in 2020, I came back home and I've not been able to go back. So, um, my journey into medical school, this had to like, you know, <laughs> take me back because I'm in my fifth year now. So I had to like go dig and try to remember information that, you know, I've probably forgotten and do not really remember. But getting into medical school, um, okay, so in high school, I really wasn't um what can i say in high school i wasn't like my junior years of high school i wasn't really good at my sciences math and all that stuff and i always used to be told for you to be a doctor you need to like ace in those in those subjects so because of that i really didn't like have much hope of being a doctor but fast forward when i was finishing up my high school and i was I, and my results came out i actually um was able i had results which i thought could make me you know study medicine although initially throughout my senior high school i was thinking of doing either something to do with accounts or economics like that's where my mind was but then when my results came out i was like you know i actually can follow this childhood dream i've had of being a doctor and i began applying so um when i first started applying i actually found myself studying uh, bi um, biology pre-med like and it was supposed to be a degree for four years but then i dropped out because due to some circumstances i wasn't able to continue and that's when i said applying to um medical schools again and one of the medical schools like to be honest i won't lie like china was the last place on my list i was applying to places like europe so i applied to most universities in europe when i did my research I was planning, I, was, I liked the, the universities in Europe. One of the top countries I was hoping to go to was Germany. But then I don't know how true this is. Like, I really found it hard to find information. Like, people to talk to, I really found it really hard. So, um, some of the, the, like, the universities I wanted to go to, I've not even received responses. Like, in Europe, especially, most of the universities wanted uh, me to have A-levels. So if you don't know, like A level results for my um, senior high school, that's like advanced level. But then for me, I only had O level, which is like ordinary level. So because of that, I was really limited to some of the universities and countries I applied to in Europe. I never got responses. And then I looked at Germany when I did my research. I discovered you had to know like German, and I was like, I'm not. I don't know if I'm ready to know German. And it was just like a whole like applying to medical schools i applied to so many i think i'm one of those who sent like over 10 applications out and then when i was not getting responses and things not going as i planned i was like okay fine let me try china because i had one of my very good friends who was like studying in one of the universities in china she was doing medicine so i was just like okay and i talked to her and i was like you know i really want to you know i've been applying and things are not going the way i want in other areas so could you please drop an application for me and at first she was like ah oh, do you know wanna come here and i was like ah oh, you know at this point like most of the places are not accepting my um application form so or, i mean most of the places are i want to go to like things are not going the way i want them to go so that's how she applied she told me she's like okay and she gave me um an agent's line and that's how i started talking to an agent from china and i did my research again on universities in china and the universities i wanted like the universities i was looking at and was hoping most of them it happens that i was not able to either like 
get responses or yeah most of the, some of the universities i was not able to get responses and all that and other universities are just like ha ah, i'm not so sure so finally um the 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 university where my friend was at i was able to get application papers from the agent and you know he asked me he was like do you want to do language first one year and i was like no he was like do you really not want to do language one year i was just like no because i feel like i've wasted so much time it's been like i think it was like two years since i'd completed my high school it was going to three years it was two years going to three years since i'd completed high school and i was like i don't want to waste any more time i really because medic medicine is a long course i really just want to get into it i don't think i want to do language for one year so that's how he gave me the application papers for that's how he gave me the application papers for the university where i'm at currently and i filled in the application forms i also had to do a police report where uh, you just prove that you've got no really criminal record and i also had to do a health check just it like he sent the forms I had to fill in and go to hospital have those filled in it was a whole process guys <laughs> plus the application form and i finally sent my application and now i had to wait i remember yes so i had to wait and this was probably yeah this was 2017 i think and i really didn't know what to expect it's like okay so if these guys don't accept me i really don't know what i'm going to do with my life but at the end of the day i re i received uh, like an acceptance letter and i began to do my research about the city because i was in hangzhou so i had to do i decided doing research and I discovered it was a tourist city and i was really excited like yay and yo oh i also forgot among the among the the application and everything i obviously sent my results yes i sent my results i really didn't receive like any cut of points like they didn't tell me if you get this and this and this you can't enter no i just sent my results and that's another thing that i that made me apply to china like it was more convenient like than other places um yeah i found it more convenient like i think even other universities where i wanted to go to they had to travel to go for an interview before i actually go because i think some medical schools are like that and that was quite expensive it was something i was not able to do at that moment so yeah um i found china more convenient and affordable than other places too so i finally got my acceptance and it had a uh, little jw they call if i remember correctly and then i had to go to the visa office do my papers process my visa and i processed my visa and i think the i was i actually went late because i received my application letter i wasn't really expecting to be accepted i don't know why and then i got sick and also at the same time when i actually finally went to the embassy to like get my visa it happens that i went in the time period where they were having a holiday so i wasn't able to put in my um my application for a visa but then i finally did thank god it was a one go thing like i didn't have to go back the process wasn't really cumbersome i did my visa and that's how i i got into medical school and i went to china that's how i went to china and yeah my first year for medical school uh it was it was it was, it was i don't know <laughs> Going into medical school, I didn't know what to expect. I was nervous as I think most people are. I don't know. I was nervous as it's like, will I manage this? Because in high school, biology wasn't really my strong suit. So I was just like, will I manage? Will I do this? But yeah, and here we are today after five years. Do I regret getting into medical school? Okay, on days that are really tough, yes. I'm just like, should I really have done this? But overall, overall, I'm really happy with the course I picked. It's definitely has got so much that goes into it but yeah i'm happy to be where i am and yeah if this is your first time watching this um watching me please subscribe to my channel and let's yeah join the journey and see where this goes thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to like please don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye